welcome. I'm Leanne. I'm going to guide you through this yoga practice today. So take any position that you would like to start in. You can be kneeling, seated, lying down. Closing your eyes if you like. And just becoming present. So present to what you hear. What does this moment sound like? And you might notice sounds inside your body. You might notice sounds in the space around you. You become present to what you feel. So that can be the ground underneath you. The feeling of clothing and air meeting your skin. What we feel can also be the sensations and emotions inside our body. Then bring a hand or two hands to your belly, your abdomen and feel your breath. So feel your breath coming down into this space. So the belly softens when we breathe in and it moves slightly away from our hand when we breathe out. So it's not a big breath, it's light, low in the body. So it's coming into the abdomen. So on the inhale, the belly relaxes. On the exhale, there's this just slight hug in. So this part of our body in yoga is our sun center. So our source of our inner fire, our inner strength. And what does this part of you feel like? How does it feel to sit your awareness here? So our practice today will help us connect with this part. So come on up to sitting and you can bring your legs out in front of you and your hands can come to the floor behind you. Leave a little space between your legs so that you can move your feet. You're gonna roll your feet around your ankles, switching directions when it feels right. You can move the tops of the feet towards you and away from you. So let the movement here of your feet be random, unpatterned, come up into your toes and give them a wiggle and a stretch. Just to wake up your awareness to your feet. Okay, and then let your legs relax for a moment. Then we're gonna leave the left leg straight in front of us, but toes and kneecap point towards the ceiling, step your right foot in. So your right foot could be on the inside of the left leg or you can tuck it on the outside. But right foot flat, right knee up, lifting the crown of your head up towards the ceiling and then turning to the right side. So you can give the right leg a gentle hug in, soften the shoulders, maybe turn the head gently to the right, have a sense of what's on the floor. So your sitting bones, your right foot, the back of the left leg, the right hand, and what's happening through your abdomen. Okay, can you unwind, keep your legs where they are, turn gently to the left side now. So your right arm might loop around your right leg, it might drop to the inside of the right leg. So left hand is now on the floor and can the head turn to the right? Okay, unwind your head and your legs. Bring your hands to the floor behind you, your feet to the floor in front of you. 
And spread out your fingers, press through your hands, see if you can get your elbows straighter. Now you can stay here, lengthen your back, push through your hands, slightly push through your feet. If you want a little bit more, you could lift your seat a little bit, or you could try lifting your seat higher up. So lift up from underneath you, chest can come towards the chin, so you don't have to lift the chin. Bring your seat back down to the floor. Take your right leg out in front, tuck your left foot in to the inside of the right leg or the outside. Come on up tall. Turn to the left. Turning the head gently once you've turned the torso, the upper part of the torso. If you want to turn the head a little further to the left, you can. You feel your breath in your belly, so you don't have to make it big. Just feel what's already happening there. Okay, unwind your turn, legs are gonna stay. We're gonna turn the heart to the right side and the head to the left side. Okay, unwind your head and your heart and your arms and your legs, bring your hands to the floor behind. Your feet to the floor in front, press down, lengthen up, stay here, lift a little or lift a lot. Okay, bring your seat down. Uh, we'll come through table pose next, up so that we're standing on our knees. And then just come up into your shoulders and just let your shoulders move how they would like to move here. So just like we moved our, our feet and our ankles, the shoulder movement can be just sort of lovely and random, up and down and in and out. Might make some sounds. Okay, and then relax your shoulders and your arms. Okay, bring your hands to the sides of your pelvis. And we're gonna feel into this straight line, knees, hips, shoulders, head. And we'd like to keep that long straight line. So you're gonna rock yourself back and then bring yourself back up. Okay? And you're just going as far back as you go without anything coming out of alignment. So without rounding the back or dropping the head, for instance. Okay? You stay in a straight line. Your core has gotta be on and strong to bring you back and then to bring you back up. So just go as far as you go. Even just coming a little bit off a of vertical will help you build strength, as long as you keep the alignment. Right? So everything gets to stay strong. You feel a lot of this in your thighs. Okay. You come back one more time. And then come on back up, bring your hands down to the floor. And from here, we're gonna to come to thread the needle. So bring your right hand behind your left wrist and move that right arm away from you. So we are turning left and sinking down. So you might come and hover the right shoulder and right side of the head above the floor. So we've come into a little uh, twist and a little shoulder stretch. If it's comfortable and the shoulder and the side of the head come all the way down, you're welcome to go there, but don't feel like you have to. Okay, just listen to your body, and if your body just wants to drop and turn a little, then that's great. Okay, we're gonna press through the left hand and come back up, and then we're gonna switch sides. So left hand behind the right wrist, turn a little, sink a little. Okay, or further, you could bring your shoulder and head down too. A cushion as well. Keep that right hand on the floor just to help give you some support. Okay, press now into the right hand and come on up. So come back to table pose. From table pose, curl your toes under, lift your knees up, and pressing back into downward dog. Keep a little softness in through your knees here. And if you like, you're going to lift uh, the right foot up just a little. 
or the light right leg a little higher or the right leg a little higher so a little softness in that left knee to take some of the the length out of the back of the leg right so it's not so tight bring the right foot down and we'll switch so left foot just a little or a little more or up towards the ceiling listen to your body Okay, bring your left foot back down so you've got both feet on the floor and from here soften your knees lots walk your hands towards your feet so you're shifting into a forward fold but your knees are bent lots feel your feet on the ground you can see them keep your knees bent push down through your heels and come on up to standing okay so up at vertical Bring yourself up to the top of your mat. And then we're gonna balance. So first find your mountain pose. So your feet under your hips, your head on top of your heart, on top of your abdomen, your belly, and then there's the pelvis, and then there's the heels underneath us. Okay, stand in your left foot. So we're gonna bend the right knee and bring the heel in behind us. So we're trying to take the right thigh and move it backwards. Arms can be wide, palms face the ceiling. Bring the wrists in towards your shoulders. So shoulders are low, collarbones are wide. Spread out your fingers and your thumbs. Imagine you're holding trays in your hands. And then from here, you can let the arms go and step a big step back with your right foot onto a separate railway track from your left foot. So left foot is forward, right leg is back. And we're gonna bend the left knee, left hand is at the hip and the right arm can reach up. So maybe it wants to come forward in front of you or maybe it can come a little bit higher. Listen to your shoulder, your back, your neck. See how high up that right arm can reach. And then bring the right arm back in front of you and let the left arm come and meet the right arm in front at shoulder height. We're coming to archer pose next. So right hand comes back to your right shoulder. So you turn face towards the long edge of the mat, but leave your left leg and your left arm where they were. Okay, so you've pulled your bow back, right hand at the shoulder, and your gaze here is gonna stay at this left hand. So undo your opening. So turn back to face the top of your mat, so palms facing, and then bring the right hand to the shoulder, open up towards the long edge of the mat, keep the left knee bent. Okay, one more time. So face forward, the short end of your mat, right hand to the shoulder, heart facing more towards the long edge of the mat. Sink into your legs. You're looking at your left hand. Okay, undo, so face forward. You can drop the arms and straighten the knee and step forward with the back foot and come back up into mountain pose. And then just take a moment there, feel what you feel in your body. Okay, you're staying there at the top of your mat. Stand in your right foot. Bend your left knee. So bring the heel in behind you. Try to move the thigh bone back. So there's an act, there's activity right happening through the back of the leg. Not so much that you're in a big back bend, just enough. Okay, take your arms wide, palms up. Wrists into your shoulders. Curl your fingers in and your thumbs over your fingers. So squeeze your hands into fists. Tight, tight, tight. Tight, 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 and then stretch your fingers and thumbs wide. Okay, relax your arms, step back with your left foot into your warrior one. So the left foot's on a separate railway track from the right foot, both feet are flat. Uh, right hand is at the hip, bending the right knee, lifting the left arm just to that comfortable place in you. Maybe you feel a gentle stretch. Okay. 
Okay, let the arms come parallel to the floor, palms facing each other. Left hand now is pulling back your bow. So let your rib cage turn to face more towards the long edge of your mat. Left hand stops at the shoulder. Your gaze has stayed at your right hand. So the right hand and the right knee stayed and the gaze stayed. Okay, turn your left hand, remove your left hand back towards your right hand. So you're facing the top of your mat. And then open up. So turn the heart towards the long edge of the mat. Okay, turn the heart back to face the short end of your mat. And then open up towards the long edge of your mat. Turn back to face the short end of your mat. Let your arms go. You can straighten your knee. And you're going to turn your whole body now and face the long edge of your mat. Okay, so adjust your feet so they're on a balance beam. Bring your fingertips up to your shoulders. Feet are parallel. Begin to tip from side to side. So just a slow, easy tilt in each direction. Feeling into your side waist. Right into this space. So you've got the rib cage that gets um, an opening in the space between the rib cage and the pelvis on each side. And you get a little stretch out and a little strengthening as you come back up to vertical each time. Find vertical again. Turn your left leg so your knee and your toes point towards that end of your mat. You can bend the left knee, open up the arms. So there's warrior two, so palms can face the ceiling or the floor. Sink into your legs. Feel into this center, right, your abdominal center. Okay, we're going to come from here into side stretch, but let your right hand come to your hip first, left forearm to the thigh. So tipping over, nice deep bend to that left knee. Sides of the body are long. Drag the fingertips of the right hand up your right side just as far as you want to go. So if you want to bring the right hand to the ceiling, you can. And if you want to send the right arm past the ear and the crown of the head, you can reach long. So both sides are long. Sink into your legs. Draw your shoulders back. And then take the right hand back down and let the right hand either come to your hip or it's going to come to your back somewhere. So you could put the right hand in your back pocket or the back of the pelvis or the low back. And maybe you can turn the head so you're looking at your left foot. And then press down through that heel and come on up. So straighten the left leg, release the arms, switch feet. So your left leg is going to turn, so your toes are pointing towards the long edge. Right leg is going to turn, so your toes are pointing just gently towards the top edge or the short end. Bending your right knee. Floating your arms up. Left hand to your hip, right hand to your right thigh. So tipping over, keep your sides long. Okay, what's happening through your belly? You're gonna drag the fingertips of the left hand up the left side. So maybe to the shoulder and stay, or maybe out past the ear and the crown of the head. Both sides are long, head is turned. To look at your right foot. And then that left arm is going to make its way back either to the right hip or to your back somewhere. And you've rolled the left arm so the back of your hand is on your back. Can you still feel the breath in your belly? So it's not, it's not big. That's where it's coming and coming to and moving out from. Okay, press through the right heel and lift. So come on back up. Turn your right foot, bring your hands to your hips, tip over. So wide-legged forward fold, halfway, if you want to keep your head and your heart up. That is most comfortable, be there. Okay. Or you can come upside down, 
if that suits your body. From here, come on down to table pose. You can turn and face the top of your mat. Forearms are going to come to the floor. Knees are going to walk back. Toes are going to curl under. So finding your low plank. So head in line with heart. So you're looking at your hands or in between your hands. Shoulders are back. Tummy is hugging in towards your midline. If you are feeling like you can lift the knees up, then give that a try. Hugging the tummy in and breathing. All right, lower your knees back down. Can you take your knees a little wider, big toes together, and then just sink back into your child's pose and your legs are maybe a little wider than normal. Support your head either on your hands or on the floor. Relax your shoulders and your arms. Okay, let the belly soften. So feel the breath just coming down into that space again. Remember on the inhale, the belly relaxes. On the exhale, the breath moves out of that space. When you're ready from here, you can bring up your head and then you can come on to your back. Settle your back comfortably to the floor. Let all those curves be there. So there's a curve in your lumbar spine, there's a curve in your neck. Okay, we're gonna pick up the right leg. So interlace the fingers. Hands can come below the knee or behind the thigh. So just right leg gets a hug in. Relax your shoulders, your back, your jaw, your belly. You will switch legs. So bring your right foot down, and bring your left knee in. So thigh bone comes towards you. Okay, listen to your body here. Can you pick the right foot up? So you're hugging the left knee in, pick the right foot up. Now switch legs. So hug the right knee in and let the left foot hover above the floor. Okay, so switch legs again. So you've got the left knee. Now, if you have, if you want a little more here, you're gonna straighten out that right leg. And it can just be a little straighter or it could be a lot straighter. So the right leg is hovering above the floor. And then you're gonna switch again. So hug the right knee in and choose what you wanna do with the left leg. So neck and shoulders still easy. So there's a little bit more core happening. Switch over. So left knee comes in, right leg goes long. If you feel okay and you want to try a little more, then we're doing the same leg movement, but we don't use the hands to help. So you would bring the right knee in and the left leg would hover or stretch out long. Okay, and then left knee in, right leg out. Right knee in, left leg out, relax your shoulders, soften your jaw. Last one, left leg in, right leg out. Okay, right leg down, left foot to the right thigh or the right knee. 
Okay, we're gonna bring the left knee over. So you can bring your right hand to your left leg. Right, left knee can come over. And then the pelvis, the hip can lift. The left hip can come up into your twist. So the left shoulder is going to stay down. Maybe the left arm can rest, palm facing up, arm out from the side of the body. Maybe you can turn your head to the right. Okay, so put your awareness in your belly. Feel your breath happening there. And then what else do you feel? So downward from the belly to the pelvis, the hip, the leg, and upward from the belly through the ribcage and the chest, the shoulder, the arm, the neck. Okay, roll back onto your back. We'll switch sides. So left foot to the floor, right foot to the floor, left leg to the floor, right foot to the left knee. Left hand to the right leg, helps the right leg come across. Right shoulder stays down. Head turns to the left. So you're long through your middle. Little breath happening there. Okay, come back onto your back, bring your knees in, and then a little rock from side to side. Just feeling your lower back on the ground behind you as you rock, or maybe your pelvis. Okay, and then when you're ready, feet to the floor. Come on into whatever position you wanna relax in. So give your body the support that it would like letting the body rest, letting go of effort and tension, just softening your body. Breath is free to flow into the belly. Okay, can you bring your awareness down into your feet and your legs? And you're gently going to engage feet and legs. So you're going to hug your muscles towards your bones. You're going to turn on your feet, turn on your legs. So thighs and knees and lower legs and ankles and feet and toes and maybe glutes up at the top. Okay, so squeezing legs, hamstrings in the back, calves. Okay, and then let your feet and your legs relax. So let go. Let them go all the way. Come into your tummy and squeeze your tummy inward towards your midline. So give those abdominal muscles a good squeeze inward towards your center. So a vertical center, right? Squeezing in like hip bones are coming in, rib cage is coming in towards each other on the front of the body. Okay, and then relax the belly. Make some fists with your hands, float your arms up off the floor, squeeze your shoulders towards your ears. So shoulders, arms, hands. What does that do to your breath? And then let go. Okay, come up into your face, crinkle up your eyes and your nose and tighten up your jaw. You could press your tongue either up or down and then soften your face. Okay, and then one more. Do your whole body all at once. So face, shoulders, arms, hands, chest, belly, back, glutes, legs, feet. Squeezing everything, hugging it all in. You can feel the tight, the effort, and the strength. Okay, and then soften. So let it all go. Let everything go. Everything go. So feet and legs. Pelvis and belly. Ribs and chest, shoulders, arms, hands. 
throat and neck, head and face. And you just let your awareness come back into your belly. Just let your awareness rest there. Feel the breath in your belly. So soft belly. Flow of breath, lightly in and out of that space. You don't have to make anything happen. So belly fills ever so slightly on the inhale. Belly sinks ever so slightly on the exhale. So you don't have to make it bigger than it is. Just feel like the breath is free to be in that space though. And then just notice, how do you feel? Do you feel a little bit more connected to your abdomen? What else do you observe? You're welcome to stay here. If you have a few more minutes to rest, you're welcome to just rest there. If you're wanting to complete your practice, shift your feet to the floor. Let your knees rock a little from side to side, perhaps. Okay, when you're even there, Feet back to the mat, hug your knees in. Take your time, come over to your side. And then come on up. Okay. And then as you get back to vertical, if you have another moment, just eyes resting closed, coming to vertical, head above heart and heart above belly above pelvis, above the ground. And just noticing how you are. What it feels like to have woken up that part of you. Are you taking your time, but when you're ready, listening to your body, moving back into your day. Thank you for practicing today.